Welcome back to Cool Crafts with Bailey. This week we are going to be making a groundhog or a beaver, whichever you prefer. For this you need half a piece of paper that is brown, half of white paper, scissors, a pencil, a sharpie, a bottle of glue, and a scrap piece of paper so you don't get glue on your table. So what I did first was you take the brown piece and you fold it in half, as close to half as you can get, and then along the crease side you draw half of a heart, and then you leave it folded and cut it out like this. This is small, but that's okay. You can make it as big or as small as you would like. And then for the ears, leave it. You can either do the ears on the um, seam side or the other end. I was going to right here. And to draw those, you just make like a straight line and then a curved line and then a straight line again. And then you'll cut that out. Be careful when using scissors. I have to cut it to a smaller piece of paper first. And just go around. And then I want to cut it in half right here on the crease. So then you have the two ears. The glue them on the back right there. And right there. And then you go over to your white paper. Oh no! Unfold it in half. And then cut along the seam or fold. Take one half and put it away. Take the second half, fold it in half again. And then draw a little part half. And then cut it out. And we're going to open it. And it's going to go right here for the teeth. Like that. And then what I did was I just drew like a little half circle and then another half circle. And then you just cut both of those out. I have to cut it into a smaller paper. So then you unfold them, and they go approximately there. It's big eyes. <laughs> it's okay. It just makes them look more like a cartoon. I think this is the baby baby grandfather. Yes, this is the baby. I'm making a family, as you can see. He has an eye issue. <laughs> just means he has better vision. It's fine. Be careful with permanent markers. So then, to give them the eyes after you glue this on, you just make like a dot in the middle, like that. And then you would draw a heart here. I don't know if I can draw one upside down. Wow, it's better than normal. <laughs> and then you just color it in. And you put three whiskers on each side. And then after it's all dried, it looks 
focus? Or like that. And that is how you make a paper groundhog using minimal supplies. Have a good week. Bye.